In this video, I'm going to talk about Lerva's new OLED TVs from Eva. But you may be wondering why I'm filming this video in my own studio in Manchester rather than in a busy show hall in Berlin. Now, the thing is, I didn't manage to find the time to visit Lerva's stand until Friday at Eva when the show opened to the public. So if you've seen my Eva blooper reel video, where I was constantly interrupted by passers-by and interested persons whenever I was trying to shoot a video. Those clips were actually filmed on Wednesday and Thursday when the Consumer Electronics Trade Show was only open to the media and not to the public. I was still constantly interrupted in my filming. Imagine on Friday when it's actually open to the public the show halls were just crawling with people. There's just no way I could actually do anything in terms of talking in front of the camera without someone interrupting, without someone passing by, or even knocking the camera over. So I didn't manage to do that on Lover's stand. But I still managed to capture some nice footage of the new OLED televisions from this German brand, including the Bill 3, the Bill 4, and also some very, very inspired prototype displays from the German company. Of course, I can just put all this footage together and do a robotic voiceover. This is the Lover Bill 4. It is very good. But where's the fun in that? I know you guys want to see my face to give the video more authenticity. You want to judge my emotion. And also maybe you just want to see me mess up my lines. But yes, I'm not afraid to put my face in front of a camera, unlike certain channels. And I want to tell you all about the Lover new OLED televisions from the EFA 2017 Consumer Electronics Trade Show that took place in Berlin last week. So I met up with Lover at Eva, and they told me that the German brand has the most extensive range of OLED televisions among all TV manufacturers outside of LG themselves, which is certainly true when we actually look at their range at the Eva 2017 Consumer Electronics Trade Show. I've reviewed the Lover Bill 7 and I have actually done a first look video of the Lover Bill 5 at Crampton and More Leeds and there are at least two new ranges of OLED TVs from Lover at Eva, and those are the Bill 3 and Bill 4. I'm going to talk about them. In addition, Lover was also keen to emphasize that they are one of the very few OLED TV brands who support the three key HDR formats of the Open Standard HDR10, the Hybrid Log Gamma or HLG Broadcast HDR Standard, and also the Dolby Vision Dynamic Metadata Standard out of the box, similar to LG and now BNO or Bang & Olufsen, so that is good from that front. The Sony A1 or A1e, even though they are meant to support Dolby Vision, they haven't actually received the necessary firmware update to enable this feature yet. But hopefully Sony A1 or A1e owners can get them pretty soon before the end of the year. So let's get back to the new Lover television. Let's start with the Lover Bill 4. Now, Usually, Lover televisions are quite modular. By modular, I mean you can purchase Lover televisions that has different designs, different features, different stands, uh, so to speak. So that is what Lover means by modularity. But the Lover Bill 4 is not designed to be modular. It only comes in one screen size of 55 inches. So the exact model number will be Lover Bill 4.5. And it comes with a fairly small rectangular stand, which doesn't take up much space at all, which is quite good. And it has a really premium brush black finish. So from that point of view, it is a non-modular design. It comes with a, obviously a very thin, flat WRGB OLED panel from LG Display. It ships with an integrated front-firing soundbar at the bottom of the screen and there's a typical circular infrared sensor in the middle or the bottom border of the television. Also, Lover was demonstrating Alexa integration with the Lover Bill 4 at EFA and hopefully the same firmware update will be arriving on all Lover televisions, including the Bill 7, the Bill 5, the Bill 3 and the Bill 4. 
which is always going to be quite useful to quickly switch away from babe station when your missus walk in and you can say no hands right so um, yeah so that was the lever bill for and uh, it will retail for 2990 pounds now interestingly there is also a bill free OLED which we don't know until we actually attended the EFA show so the bill free OLED comes in again one screen size of 55 inches so the model number will be the bill three dot 55 but within the bill free range there are also LED LCD because the build tree range comes in three screen sizes of 43 inch, 49 inch and 55 inch. So the 55 inch is OLED, but because LG display doesn't sell OLED panels smaller than 55 inches, so the 49 inch build tree and the 43 inch build tree are still LED LCD. They are H lit LED LCD, I believe. And so, so Bill 3, there are different technologies being used there, OLED and LED LCD. And if you want to go for the OLED, you will need to go for the 55-inch version. And again, it is designed to be slightly modular. You can buy it with an additional hard drive, integrated hard drive. Oh, I forgot to say that the Bill 4 actually doesn't come with an integrated hard drive, unlike the Bill 5 or the Bill 7. Uh, out of the box so the bill for won't have the integrated uh, PVR or hard drive for recording from the internal tuner down to a hard drive but the bill tree you can purchase it with an integrated hard drive but obviously the price will be higher the base price will be around 2790 pounds which is less than the price of the bill Four and the build tree comes with, uh, I believe, a non-black rectangular stand as well, and a speaker. Even though it looks slightly smaller, I believe it actually still outputs the same. But I need to actually check on that in terms of the audio output. So that's the build four and build tree covered. But at the lever stand, what really captured our attention were these few prototype displays that they actually designed and put up. So lever are calling these because they are still prototype, they are still in the concept phase. So Lover are calling these, they are Lover Build X, X being, say, an unknown number. So if, let's say, the media reception or the public reception is, is good regarding these concept OLED televisions, then Lover will consider releasing it with, let's say, maybe Lover Bill 8 or Bill 88, uh, a number which is very, very auspicious to the Chinese. So, yes, so it's called the Lover Bill X and it comes in several forms. So, the concept is basically they are taking the wallpaper design of LG and then they think that that is too bland. So, they put a really slender gold frame around this paper thin OLED panel and then they design it using contrasting elements to try and take the design to the next level. So on one iteration, we see it being wall mounted. So you can see that this is a wafer thin wallpaper television by Lerva, wall mounted with the golden frame surrounding the OLED panel. But what's very, very interesting is that obviously on let's say the W7, the LG W7 wallpaper television, the electronics and the speakers are all outsourced to a fairly bulky sound box. I think LG call it sound box, which obviously decodes and output Dolby Atmos as well. But it's fairly bulky. I think many would-be owners are actually put off by the bulk of this external sound box. And what Lover has done is to actually shrink the size of this external connections box down to this really, really quite discreet, quite small box that I can spot under the cabinet. It has this really nice black wooden effect. And it looks really tasteful. It looks really quite discreet and very, very easy to hide for many owners. And I think that will certainly appeal to many would-be owners of this sort of really minimalistic display. And that may be the direction where LG is taking their wallpaper television next year. But certainly we see a version of the wallpaper television 
done by Lerber, which uses this concept and they try to shrink the external connection box to as small as possible, which is obviously a very, very fantastic idea. In another iteration, we see this wallpaper television on a stand and underneath the stand, there is a sort of like a circular marble kind of an anchor. And I believe that it's, it looks quite tasteful because you have the golden, the metallic element of the stand and then suddenly you get this marble effect which provides a very very elegant textural contrast and that, that obviously will appeal to certain demographics in their home decor but what is interesting is that I'm led to believe that the internal electronics can actually be hidden inside this marble anchor, this circular marble thing. And yes, I think uh, that's, a, that's again, you know, as a, I think it's a really, really nice concept. What Lerver is trying to show us is that you can actually place the internal electronics elsewhere. So it just opens up a world of possibilities. You can actually put it in the sort of design. And I get that not everyone will like the sort of design, but it will certainly appeal to certain audiences and good on Lover for trying out different things. So those are the two iterations that really, really impressed me at IFA, the IFA 2017 Consumer Electronics Trade Show. It's called the Lover Bill X concept television, which is basically saying that if it gets lots of positive mentions in the media, they may actually consider rolling it out. So yeah, I think uh, they have certainly have a good idea and I wish them all the best. But those are the new Lover televisions that we've seen at IFA 2017. And I think obviously it is going to be slightly more expensive than the, let's say, LG's B7 and C7. They have actually dropped down in price to around £2,000. So even though the Lover Bill 3.55 is going to be the most affordable Lover OLED television. They're still going to be more expensive than LG's most affordable OLED televisions. But I think what Lover is pitching is their, is their design, is their sound output, is their just their general build quality. And I'm quite sure they will have their fans and I wish them all the best. This is Vincent Thiel here, uh, reporting from Manchester about something that happened in Berlin about one week ago, but circumstances just forces me to do this <laughs> back in my own studio rather than in Berlin. If you've enjoyed this video, please click the like button and subscribe to the HTTP Test YouTube channel for more videos like this. Thank you for watching and I'll see you the next time.